Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can update order details in your PayPal receipt. If you have a WordPress website and you are trying to purchase a product and you are interested to uh, pass something else instead of product name. So here you can see that I have order details and I have already uh, passed from my uh, WooCommerce website. Here we have order ID. So how is it possible because you have not seen this before because here we always uh, get the product name and here we have quantity, price and, and subtotal. So let me give you an example and then you will get to know that how it is working. Alright, so I have already opened that uh, website over here. Here you can see that I have test product. I am going to add it uh, to, right? Quantity is 2 that means we have 16 overall price and let me go to the card page and here you can see that I'm going to click on proceed to checkout let me purchase it I'm going to add my uh, order details here and here you can see that the price is 16 and if I will show you my PayPal here you can see that the transactions are up till 88 dollars here you can see that the last transaction is 8 US dollar. So let me show you the latest order. So here you can click on PayPal. You need to do the payment. Here we go. So let's log in. And then after you need to pay, pay the payment through your personal account. All right, let's click on pay now. And once the order is completed, then we will be getting the receipt. And in that receipt, the order details must be different. Here we go. Now you can see that we have uh, this uh, uh, thank you page over here. And uh, currently you can see that we have test product that is the product title. And if we are seeing that same thing over here, let me refresh this page again. And here we will be getting the latest order which we have placed just now that is 16 US dollar. Click on this link and I will uh, here you can see that we have order ID 34. That means the order is successful. All right, quantity is 2, uh, price is 8 US dollar and subtotal is 16 US dollar. So how is it possible? Actually, I have edited some uh, code into my WooCommerce website. So that thing you can also implement into your, into your website. I struggle a lot and finally I found the solution. So I thought that I need to share with you the same solution so that uh, you should also get the support from me. So if you have the same problem, you can connect me. I have, con I have added the contact details below in the description. So this specific thing was little tricky because if you are uh, modifying something else, then maybe uh, the whole code uh, would be broken. So it was simple to do, but I spent some time and uh, after all, I found the solution. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are thinking this was useful, then please uh, subscribe this channel. Also like this video. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.